We're talking about some of the uh, some of the ugliness in this. Liverpool have opened an investigation. That, you know, people are throwing missiles or coins at, at Pep Guardiola. I got to say, Pep, when when he was angry about the goal, I mean, look, both managers are passionate, and we want to see that. We yeah. accept it. Um, Klopp got himself sent off unnecessary, and he was always going to be sent off. I thought it was quite disrespectful to the referee, which is also why he, um, I think he apologized for that afterwards. Pep as well, after the disallowed goal, when, okay, I'm fine with you getting angry, then the fans go and mock you because the call goes against you. You know, not his first rodeo. Yeah. Going and like throwing your hands yeah, in the air like winding that. winding up a bit, yeah. Wind up the crowd. I think he could have avoided that. Um... There's also some ugly songs about mm. Hillsborough, which sadly we have to cite. Um, and again, I just, I, I don't want to digress on this, but I just have to say this, like, this could have been you. If you were a match going yeah, fan, yeah, this could have been you. So exactly. just please think about that, right? Um, and then there was a little bit of pregame tension stoked by Jurgen Klopp <laughs> which, when he talked about his ceiling yeah. versus Manchester City's ceiling. Yeah, in terms well, three, of three clubs who can do what they want, he said, yeah, and have no ceilings. Um, is he, he kind of before, playing to the gallery on that one a little bit? He said, oh, you asked me the question, I'm going to give the answer, but you all know the answer, we all know the answer, we, we do. I guess he could have maybe be a bit more political in the way he answered, but then why, why, when everybody knows this is true, PSG, Newcastle and City, more than anybody else, I'm not saying that there's no other club right. who can spend millions and billions as well, I'm just saying them three, I, because of the way they own, are a bit different than the others. What I would there's no question they're not just a bit different. They're a lot different. What what I would say though is that if you're going to go down this route and make this point, um, it is a complex argument. Yeah, yeah. And inevitably, you get the two shoutiest people in the corner on one side. People saying, "Oh no, it's just a normal investment fund." Blah blah blah. On, on the one hand, and on the other, say like, "Oh, they're all cheating." Right. Hmm. I think there are ways. One very obvious way is liquidity, right? It's, it's just simply having cash on hand. Not that you can outspend the other person, yeah, but yeah, that yeah. you can move quickly with cash and you don't have to liquidate other assets to do it. Um, that, to me, is a pretty obvious one. The other obvious one is that when it comes to sovereign wealth funds, um, you know, let's face it, these three countries that he's talking about, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, and, um, and the Emirates, and Abu Dhabi, um, these aren't democracies with oversight. So while it is the people's money, yeah. you don't necessarily have that internal debate. Whereas when Fenway spend money, yeah, it's mostly um, John Henry's uh, money and, and Warner's money, but equally they have other shareholders and mm. they may disagree on how they want to spend the money, right? Uh, it's, it's, just, it's just very complex. And I think yeah. people are guilty of kind of dumbing this down a little bit. And also what I would say about Newcastle is I would leave them out of the conversation for now. For now, yeah. Because the way the way they've spent, you know, Paris Saint-Germain and Manchester City have both been sanctioned for breaching financial fair play. Um, Newcastle have not. Not no. stopped by UEFA, right? Yeah, yeah, not so yet. Yeah. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. So anyway, lumping them in there, in yeah. some ways it works, some ways it doesn't. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.